when David came against Goliath we know that David defeated him with a stone and a slingshot and Goliath the Bible says was extremely armed he had armor every part of his body was covered with armor but there was one part that was not covered with armor and in that part David sent and I believe through the power of the Holy Spirit the stone and he hit him in that part so this big guy Goliath this big giant has a vulnerable part and it happened to be his head you know it's not only Goliath that has a vulnerable part you also have a vulnerable part you may not be a very strong person you may not be the most successful person but you all all of us in here have the most vulnerable part and that part is our mind we can have degrees we can have good physical appearance we can have a very beautiful car we can have a wonderful house we can have even a ministry but there's one thing that you must keep in mind is that you and I have a very vulnerable part about you now some of you think that your body is vulnerable it's true it's gonna die one day and, and and turn into ashes but that is not the most vulnerable part the most vulnerable part is your mind and the way David hit the stone in Goliath's head and the Bible says the moment the stone hit his head in a matter of few minutes a big man crumbles on the floor if your head is under attack it's a matter of time and your whole life falls apart if your mind becomes under attack it, it takes just a small time and your life will line up to the level of your mind the bible says what man thinks so is he that means that when my mind comes under the assault of the devil very soon my life becomes exposed to also his attacks as a Christian not just as a Christian but as a person who was created by God you must understand that your mind is the Satan's attack it's interesting how our country has the highest percentage of mental disorders in the world no other country in the world has most people suffering in their mind than our nation But how many people don't even go to the doctor who suffer with depression, with fear, with anxiety, constantly thinking negative, constantly thinking defeat, constantly thinking I cannot do it, constantly thinking well that's the way we grew up in the family, constantly thinking oh, well nothing ever good happens to me or something is about good to happen there no well this happened before and it always turned bad we must understand that Satan will try always to attack your mind he did it with Judas the Bible says that Jesus told Judas he said the Satan uh, actually Jesus didn't say that it just says in the Bible that Satan put in the heart of Judas to betray Jesus he threw a stone you know what that stone is a thought a thought and that stone hit Judas a disciple of Jesus it hit him so bad that his world crumbled he did not know how to defend himself from that thought and then we find Judas's life end not because he was so faithful to Jesus but because he committed suicide we see the same thing with Ananias the Bible says that he came and he lied to Jesus and Peter says he said Ananias why did you allow Satan to put a thought into your heart to betray to betray Holy Spirit meaning the way David attacked Goliath is a lot of times the way Goliaths attack David's the way the enemy will seek to attack you and I this area and we as Christians have to keep this in mind and not only keep this in mind but keep our helmets on and put on a renewed mind have a new mind 